Hello everyone, welcome to TechnoStacks. Today we are going to discuss about data science. I hope you all have already gone through the uh, thumbnail and the title of the videos. So let us directly dive into the topic. What is data science? So if I talk about what is data science, data science is basically the analyzing and uh, making some analytics outcome with the data. Uh, like uh, uh, suppose uh, if I tell you with this an example, I would say uh, Suppose there is a company of fitness products who used to make treadmills, uh, dumbbells and all those kind of stuff for fitness. Now I give you a data of a fitness product that is treadmill. So suppose you are having a data of a treadmill which says how many person uses this treadmill, how many persons have purchased the treadmill and how many people are like, uh, what is the age group of those people who are purchasing this particular treadmill product and how many miles they are running with that product, all those kind of data are with you. Now, what are the outcomes that you can take with this data is that some of the outcomes are like uh, that you can bring out with this data is that uh, you can uh, tell me that uh, what is the age group of the people which are using this product and how many miles they are running and uh, what is the average run of this product. These are the kind of stuff that you can take out with this data. Now, what how this data how your outcome will, will help to the product is that uh, the company can now focus on making the product with uh, uh, those which such kind of features that would only focus to those groups now this will increase the productivity okay so data science is this only that uh, data science is just made to increase the productivity and analyze the data you can also do some other things in data science like making predictions and forecasting apps or uh, not apps, uh, for forecasting things like uh, forecasting weather, forecasting stocks. These are the other kinds of stuff that we used to do in data science. If I move further, for whom data science is? So data science is basically for people who are interested in maps and programming. So data science requires some of the mathematical stuff like uh, statistics. Probability, graph and graph theory. So these are some of the basic requirements of uh, statistics uh, of uh, data science. Yeah. So you require some knowledge in statistics, not some knowledge, a good knowledge in statistics, probability and graph theories. You must also have a good interest in mathematics to do so. And what are the programming things that you required is that first thing Python programming. Second thing R programming. So Python and R are two different programming languages. You can use any one of them to do data analysis. And uh, apart from this, look, data science have a lot of stuff to study and to understand like uh, Apache, MySQL, SQL, Azure, Databricks, Table, Power BI, and Git, uh, this uh, Hadoop, and there are a lot of things to understand in data science. But uh, I would tell you that uh, you should uh, have some knowledge about something, and uh, like you should know something about uh, uh, everything and everything about something. What I am trying to say is that if you are going with Python programming, you should know everything about Python programming, but you should know something about our programming also. Similarly. You should also understand what is Tableau, Power BI, Azure, and all those uh, stuff as well. But these are after you understand about all these things. So firstly, take a, a good knowledge about mathematics, statistics, probability, graph, and Python programming or R programming, any one of these. So these are the things that you need for uh, data science. Data science. Now moving further, what are the job roles in data science? So data scientist data analysts and data engineers are the people who are working in data science. So I will talk, uh, I will start with data engineers. So data engineer is a person who build and optimize a system that allows data scientists and data analysts to perform their work. Okay. Now, what are the requirements in data analysts? <coughs> Let me just... So requirements of data analyst is strong programming skill. You must have a strong programming skill. And you must know something about like uh, cloud computing. 
and big data. So these are the requirement for data analyst. You must know about big data, cloud computing, or pro, uh, five, sorry, programming. Okay, this is so yeah, programming. And what are the uh, what is who is so this is what a, a data analyst do. And now let us move to data engineer. So data engineer is a person who delivers value uh, value by analyzing data and communicating the result to help them make uh, help them make business decisions. And its requirements are communication skill. And business domain knowledge. <clears throat> so data okay, is not okay. Okay, I have made a mistake. This is for data engineer, and this is for data analyst. So data analyst is a person who analyzes the entire data and. Uh, he makes some business domain. He has some business domain knowledge, so he uh, suggests the business person to make uh, some favorable changes or make some decisions to make the grow their business more. So this is what data analysts do, and data scientists. So what do data scientists do? Is that he uses the data to solve. Uh, business problems or real world problems. His uh, requirements are stats like statistics and mathematics, programming, and big data. So, these all are the requirements to become a data scientist, and you must know about statistics, mathematics, programming, and big data. Okay. Now, uh, this data scientist used to do all those stuffs together. He can make predictions model. He can, uh, like, the, he can do analysis of the data and, uh, like, some of the. Uh, if I talk about the text text in data scientist is uh, SQL, Python, on and cloud computing, and text text about uh, uh, data analysts are SQL, Power BI, and Python. So using these tools, he can do the data analysis and data engineer can use SQL, Python, cloud and distributed computing technologies to make the outcomes. And so uh, these are the job roles in data science, like data scientist, data analyst and data engineer. Moving further, is shifting to data science can be helpful or is it a worthy decision? So I would say you should first look out your current situations whether you are interested in data science or not because data science is kind of a boom right now it started in 2002 and 2003 and so what used to happen is that before 2002 and 2003 there was a less use of internet uh, all those stuff like facebook instagram and all those things were used by very less people because there wasn't a lot of internet uh, access to everyone so, but now what has happened is that we are generating a lot of data, a lot of data by using internet, by using uh, Instagram, by using Facebook, Twitter, all those stuff. And data science is all working behind the, your Instagram and all those things. Like uh, whenever you view a reel or whenever you like the reel, it starts suggesting reels uh, similar to that one, so that you could uh, you could like uh, so that you could uh, have a uh more uh more of the reels in the particular thing which you like right so this is all done by data science only whenever you like the reel uh they like uh, have an impression that uh, <clears throat> you like this reel so it uh, 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 the instagram will automatically suggest you more reels like that suppose uh, you are a car person you like cars so your instagram will be, will, uh, will be all the time filled with cars only because you will be liking those posts of cars and cars reels so you will be having more 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 and more reels uh, similar to that right so this is how data science is done 
so guys i would just say that uh, shifting to data science could be a good decision if you are not interested in currently what you are doing and you have an interest in mathematics statistics probability graphs and programming python programming r programming all those kind of stuff and you want to make some prediction models you want to work on some uh, analysis and analyzing of the data and all those kind of stuff so i would say you can shift to data science but uh, 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 this uh, like i would like this could be a really good field to move on for looking into the future cause it uh, it is having a good future uh, further so this was just a basic review of data science and in this video i haven't covered a lot of things and haven't got into the depth of the video cause uh, i just want to know from you all whether you are interested in this field or not so just let me know if you want a more detailed video complete uh, depth of the this topic how many fields are there what are the things to study in this what are the jobs like what are the work of this jobs how to get this job what are the salary and packages in this jobs and uh, all those kind of things just comment me and let me know whether you want to know i would make another video with complete detail and be in touch with technostacks we are here to help you all in these kind of stuff like programming technology data science and a lot of stuff so if you, if you also want to me, want me to uh, teach you python programming i am here and you just uh, comment me what are your reviews on this topic what are your uh, what are the things you want further so uh, that's all for today and uh, thank you everyone so make sure to like the video and share this to the person who you think are interested in data science and technology and all those kind of stuff and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will you will be notified for the further videos and that's all for today's session thank you everyone